Howdy folks, hope you're all having a good weekend, and welcome back to Robocop Rogue City, where we are off to OCP headquarters to attempt to arrest the company president, the old man, after discovering links between him and the criminal activities of Wendell Antonovsky. However, viewers of the first movie may remember that Robocop has a fourth secret prime directive. Don't mess around with OCP executives. I guess we're going to find out whether or not that prime directive is still in force. the files that you sent us and it turns out that the data from your evaluations have been used to prepare an afterlife presentation and get this it's taking place right now to put a cherry on top the old man is in attendance just find where the afterlife presentation is taking place and you'll catch the old man red-handed that is how I prefer to catch criminals yeah any attempt by Robocop to arrest a senior OCP executive like uh, Dick Jones in the original movie uh, would result in him suffering the kind of seizures and glitches, exactly the same kind of glitches that you experience in this game when Antonovsky triggers the device concealed in his lighter, which originally, the first time it happened, led me to believe that Antonovsky was in fact a senior member of the OCP board, although there was no way at the time that Robocop could have possibly known that, so it shouldn't have triggered his fourth are, prime directive. You broke into the security room. I was right though. I mean, Antonovsky is OCP. But I was right for all the wrong reasons. Now, oh look, it's the Channel 9 journalist Samantha Ortiz, and she's screwing around with OCP again. Let's see how we can help. There's been a security breach I need to investigate, but someone's got to escort this trespasser out of the building. I could help in both cases. Good. The breach seems like a big job. Once you're done with her, can you join me in the server room? It's just down the hall. Sure he could. Don't think it's over, lady. I'll check the security cameras later to see what you've been up to. Expect a visit from the police in a couple of days. I'll buy coffee and donuts to welcome him. You are responsible for that security breach. I'm trying to save people's homes. Do I have to remind you what OCP is planning to do with the residents of old Detroit to create space for Delta City? I have a record of that issue. I need to find out what the estimates are for those additional costs. As you can imagine, they don't include them in their brochures. So I have to dig deeper. All the information I need to help those people is in the room where the security guard is expecting you. So can you help me get those records out? I will not let OCP hustle innocent people. You'll find the relevant data on one of the servers. I'll be waiting here to pick it up. This is actually quite a good little side mission. And, you know, we're helping stick it to OCP as well, so that's always a nice little bonus. So, uh, where are we going? Samantha's investigation, according to the compass on the heads-up display, it's this way. Notice this inactive security checkpoint? Yeah, that, that's going to be important. First, we need to get to the server room. Over here. Could you help me with these doors? So, what's the problem with the door? Scan the lock. All right, the lock's busted. Um, the graphic that pops up showing somebody kicking the door down should have been a bit of a clue as to exactly how the guard wants me to help him fix the problem with the door. Warrant required. Yeah, I can't just go smashing the door down. Someone likely tried to lay a hand on the data collected in this room. The security breach caused them to lock down. Can you open them? I need permission to enter the restricted area and damage OCP property. Do whatever it takes. Thank you. Warrant issued. I fixed your door problem for you. Now, I need to reboot the security system. The malfunction shut down not only the doors, but also a nearby metal detector gate. That should do it. Thanks for your help, Robocop. I'll stay here. I need to be sure the room is safe before the technicians arrive. My new dumbass boss will chew my ear off about it if I don't. Oh yeah, his dumbass boss, the head of the security division here at OCP. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and suggest that this guy wasn't promoted to the head of security because he came from a security background. He's just got a new door code policy here. because people, people keep forgetting the codes, 
So the login access codes for all of the security doors in the building can now be found on posters near the doors <laughs> to make it easier for people uh, to remember their login codes. Well, that's good to know, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so anyway, we're in here trying to find um, something for Samantha on the on the servers. The problem is that I can't just go extracting data from the servers right from the security guard. Better not touch that computer. If the technicians figure out that someone was messing with it, they'll be pissed. So how am I going to get rid of him? He did mention he wasn't just rebooting the security systems, but that also included the uh, the metal detectors located nearby, the ones that we just walked past on the way here. So, you're still here? Your conflict with the head of security, what is that about? He's a walking sack of incompetence. For example, he put this metal detector gate nearby with no one to supervise it. So that means I have to run and check it every time it beeps. And don't even get me started on the door codes. I think I can tell you that. You're an OCP cop, right? My boss made it so the new security code for each door is always some number that you can easily find around the door. Thank God the doors aren't locked with keys. He'd probably make us leave keys under doormats. So you have to go running every time an unsupervised detector goes off, My right? My duty awaits. I'm sure we can use that to our benefit. <laughs> I do feel kind of bad for messing with this guy. Uh, I appreciate the situation he's in. Yep, they're active now. That's malfunction, though. Well, oh, seems working just fine. <laughs> Oh, hello again. <laughs> what? It wasn't me. <laughs> Gonna have to do it again on the way out. I really feel bad for messing with this guy. <laughs> but, uh, well, now we can extract the data that Samantha needs. Oh, check me out. Engaging in criminal activities. It's all for a good cause. Right, got the data. I wonder where the guard is. Oh, he's not made it back in here yet. I'm going to set... Yeah, sorry, dude, I am so sorry about this. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> I know what it's like to have an incompetent boss who was promoted way above his level of competence. Oh, well. Sorry, dude, but if you can't take a joke, you shouldn't be working for OCP. Right, there she is. Well, I've got your stuff. Estimates. Do you have them? Make good use of them. You helped a lot of people with this, Murphy. But there is one more issue. Security footage. If I'm going to expose OCP, I'd rather not be disturbed by anyone. Could you... Destroying evidence of a crime is beyond my programming. Who's talking about that? Shuffling database records will do just fine. All you need to do is recharge yourself using the computer in the security room. You could sure use a pick-me-up. You look pale, to be honest. I will do what needs to be done to protect the innocent. Thanks to you, I'll be able to focus on what needs to be done as well. Stay safe, citizen. I mean, I like how they've... Because you, you can't have Robocop going around I breaking the today's been your kid to work day. Had no choice. His nanny killed herself this morning. What? There's all of these incidental conversations going on around you in the OCP lobby, and a lot of them are really funny. Uh, but yeah, you can't really have Robocop going around breaking the law blatantly. So rather than deliberately destroying evidence, he's just shuffling the evidence around. I mean, you know, it, it, he's still breaking the law, but they're giving you this out. Hang on a minute. Can't get in there. Sign definitely said security maintenance room, didn't it? Yeah. And yet the quest marker is heading this way, and none of those signs have anything to do with security. What the hell's going on here? Well, I'm following the marker on the heads-up display. Top of the screen there, on the compass. 
Oh, this place. Enter the code. Don't have a code. Let's check the nearby posters, shall we? See what we can find. Oh, there we go. I wonder if the code for the door is 2781. <laughs> you know, I'm sensing a sales opportunity here that the OCP head of security could potentially benefit from. If you were to just head over to nordpass.com slash jingles and use code jingles at the checkout, he could kiss goodbye to all of his password problems courtesy of Nordpass all covered by their 30 day, no questions asked, money back guarantee. They might even be able to do them a corporate deal. Right, so we've shuffled the data around. Is there anything else in here that's useful? Nope, I think that's it. Right. We really do have to escort you out of the building now, or they're going to get suspicious. I did some shuffling. Thank you. The people of old Detroit will not forget what you've done for them. All right, so she's going to escort herself out of the building. Now, finally, let's do what we came here for and go and arrest the old man. Welcome to Omni Consumer Products. How may I help you? She sounds suspiciously British for somebody from Detroit. A meeting regarding afterlife is taking place right now. I want to know where. Let me check. Yes, that would be the executive conference room on the top floor. The elevators are behind me. But... I'm looking at the guest list and I'm not seeing your name. I will be the highlight. But you don't have the proper clearance. You won't be able to access the elevators. Let Sir. me get that door for you. Sir! I saw that whole scene. The way they treated you. Not on my watch. Oh, Going this up? guy. He desperately wants my endorsement for his campaign to be elected as mayor. Also, what's wrong with the elevator? I'm on, oh, here we go. Beautiful, isn't it? This view gives me hope. Shows what Detroit is capable of when not hindered by the city's worst. You probably know that better than anyone else. You deal with filth more than any of us. These miserable people, crammed into those tiny apartments like cockroaches. I swear I need a shower whenever I go canvassing in old Detroit. But not for much longer. I'm heading to a meeting about the Delta City relocations. So that we finally get the poor, criminal elements out of our great city. Exciting, isn't it? You and me together. We'll clean the city right up. That's why... I wouldn't mind you giving me a nod during your public appearances. We need a little push in the ratings. Remember, it's your freedom we're talking about. Anyway, great talk. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eat a big bag of dicks. Right. I mean, both Mills and Mayor Kusak are trying to use me as a pawn uh, to muster support for their election campaigns. But while the incumbent mayor, Cusack, is an incompetent, corrupt scumbag, he at least has good intentions. No longer entitles you to a day off unless hospitalization is required. Thank you. Mills, however, is nothing more than a corporate mouthpiece. He's only standing for election to ensure that the relevant legislation gets passed to grant full human rights to cyborgs so that when the old man is resurrected as a cyborg, he gets to retain control of the company. And that's it. So screw that guy. There is no one here. What? Look around. See if we're missing something. Yeah, there's supposed to be a presentation going on here. And you know, I realise the computer is the obvious thing, but I want to have another look around first in case there's something else. Oh, there's the uh, model of Delta City. Uh, <laughs> they had to rebuild it after the first movie where somebody got machine gunned by an N209 all over it. Such an amazing scene. All right, let's have a look. Do not be amazed when a man grows rich, for when he dies, he takes nothing with him. Until now. Afterlife, OCP's answer to death itself. 
As a front runner in human machine hybrids, OCP is focused on proving that death is no longer the end. With a number of successful prototypes, our team continues to work tirelessly to ensure afterlife is more stable than any of our previous cybernetic achievements. We've come a long way since OCP's first cyborg. Do not say I did not warn you. To now. Hi, I'm Eve, and I've died, but that's not stopping me. With the newest development in cyborg research, OCP was able to give me another chance. And now I'm back to enjoying my life. Or should I say, afterlife. Because at OCP, the goal is no longer to live, but to thrive after death. And since our friends in the government are fighting for human rights for all people that were once pronounced dead, my life will return to what it was in no time. Under my legislation, RoboCop and all future cyborgs will be granted human rights. They'll be able to live, vote, and run their businesses just like the rest of us. Vote Mills, vote RoboCop. Afterlife, eternity, today. All right, so that basically just confirms everything that we either already knew or oh, suspected. sorry, I didn't know someone was here. Oh. Eve? It's actually Meg. Are you like me? So you've seen the ad, huh? Sorry, I'm not a robot. Just a commercial actress. I've been a face for a lot of stinkers, but good luck selling afterlife. Technology that won't be available to us for the next hundred years or so, I've heard. Where is everyone? From what I understand, the old man cancelled the meeting last minute. I don't know why no one tells me anything around here. So he is behind all of it? Who else would authorize funding of such a pretentious project? It's actually amazing how much this actress knows about the Afterlife project. So you are selling something that does not work? That's advertising for you. At least with Afterlife, we won't get many complaints from the dissatisfied customers. Because <laughs> they'd be dead, you know? What about all the money that went into research? From what I hear, OCP gave it the college try. They spent a lot of money on some prototypes, but this time they ended up with nothing. That's how it often goes with these cutting-edge projects. I imagine there were quite a lot of unsuccessful Robocops before you came along. Where did they conduct the research for this project? I don't know, but I don't think it's in this building. I've noticed that there are always big cooling trucks parked in front of OCP when they're showing off new tech. Where is the old man? Mm, probably in his office, at the end of the hall. But I don't think barging in unannounced is such a good idea. I disagree. Yeah, Meg is remarkably well informed for an actress hired to promote a product who was just a second ago complaining that nobody around here tells her anything. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh no! Another Auto 9 motherboard. You know, I'm not sure where these things are supposed to fit into the gun. I mean, they look too big to even fit into the hand grip. And um, isn't that where the ammo feed is anyway? You know, whatever. Let's check it out. Just go with it, Jingles. It's a movie. Fine. So, we have a new Omni board. Doom Doom rounds. Ooh, explosive ammo. More gore. Automatic ammo feeder. This isn't the best motherboard but it's pretty good. I mean, the fact that this thing has an automatic ammo feeder makes all of those reload speed chip sockets 100% completely redundant, which is a bit of a shame. But, I mean, that's almost 100% increased damage and a fairly decent amount of uh, weapon spread as well. It's just a shame about all the magazine capacity and reload speed sockets because they're basically a complete waste of socket space. But other than that, this is a pretty good board. Anyway, board chipped and slotted. Hopefully, I'll get to use it as we go and confront the old geezer. Uh, can someone take this robot away from here? I'm trying to work. Yeah, I can see you're working real hard. Can't push him out of the window. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was expecting a big confrontation in the boardroom, but I mean... That's the way the original movie ended, and that might be a you know a nice callback to the original movie, but it looks like the developers have something else planned.
I mean, they let me think there was going to be a big confrontation in the boardroom, just like in the end of the original movie, and then they pulled the rug out from under my feet. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. That's fine. So, let's see what happens when we try to arrest the old man, because I somehow doubt it's going to be quite as simple as just walking in, slapping the cuffs on him and saying, you're under arrest, creep. Put your hands up, you are under arrest. Wait, that's... that's Becker, isn't it? That's no way to talk to an acting CEO. You didn't come here to congratulate me? So, you haven't heard. It's been on every channel for the past hour. Watch some TV once in a while, life's passing you by. As the former CEO of Omni Consumer Products passed away earlier this morning, we at Channel 9 are deeply saddened by this horrific tragedy. Our condolences go out to the OCP family in these dark times. In other news, why do balloons make that popping sound? About time the old man kicked the bucket. A Japanese company is already eyeing to buy us out. The way he was managing the company lately, he'd basically run it to the ground. Especially with his personal projects. Afterlife. Ah, oh, you heard about that too. How desperate. Just die gracefully, you old fuck. But don't you worry about it. As an acting CEO, I'm putting a stop to all of OCP's unnecessary expenses. And that includes all of the old man's pet projects. So say bye-bye to Afterlife, and Delta City for that matter. Wendell is still out there. The market will take care of him. With no one to finance his stunts, he'd need an army willing to mindlessly fight for him, and for free. So there's nothing for you to worry about anymore. Well, maybe about collecting unemployment since I'm firing the entire police force and replacing them all with my robots. Those robots are unreliable. Oh, that's adorable. Especially coming from you. But you'll get to see the improvements we've made firsthand. Since I need you to come to the arms expo. Just don't be late. Now, you leave. Bitches, come! Oh, that's a movie reference. <laughs> it's time to celebrate. <laughs> Let's throw the old man okay. a hell of a wake. Uh, so, for those oh, of you who Robo, don't get it... That expo thing is a black tie event. Then again, I guess that doesn't concern you. In the original movie, when Bob Morton, the vice president in charge of the Robocop project, was celebrating his success at the expense of his arch-rival Dick Jones, the guy in charge of the ED-209 project, uh, he had a couple of call girls over to his apartment was doing the usual corporate executive thing, snorting lines of coke off their tits and so on and so on. And then Clarence Bodica bust in, hired by Dick Jones obviously, to assassinate him. And the first thing he said was, bitches leave. <laughs> so... <laughs> because of the tragedy that has struck our company, you will be informed by your superiors about the recommended ways to experience mourning. The meeting is not included as work time. Thank you. The old man is dead. Yeah, I just heard. So what do we do about Afterlife? Becker is shutting it down. Not the only thing he's shutting down. I just got a call from the precinct. Everyone's been fired. So what now? What about Wendell? We wait for his move. He'll be desperate. I bet he'll try to get as many supplies as he can before his money runs out. But where will he go to do that? The Detroit Arms Expo. Shit, that's right around the corner. I could go there. No. Stay with Dr. Blanche. Becker wants me to attend the Expo. This way, I can keep an eye on unwanted guests. I hear you. So, Antonovsky is still out there and he's still a threat. But he's run out of money. With the old man dead, he's no longer financing it. Which means that he would need an army that would work for free and follow his orders without question. And Becker's going to the Arms Expo to promote his new urban enforcement droids. Huh. I can't believe he's gone. He was so young. Such a tragedy, but uh, are our bonuses safe? 
Do they know who will be the new CEO? I hope it won't be that Becker jerk from Security Concepts. <laughs> yeah, I've got bad news for you, dude. Oh, this is another kind of reference. Uh, they're talking about the Japanese taking over because this was the big fear in America in the 80s with the Japanese coming in and buying up all of these failing American companies. And with the old man pissing away all of OCP's money uh, on Project Afterlife, the company's basically broke and they need a buyer to step in and rescue them. And uh, hence the Japanese. This was a big fear in America in the 80s. There were a number of movies that were made addressing this sort of thing. Uh, and they did address it in Robocop as well, and they're addressing it now here too. So, the Detroit Arms Expo. I have to admit, I thought the game would have been over by now. There would have been a big confrontation in the boardroom, and that would have been it, just like the end of the first movie. But, well, apparently not. And with Antonovsky still on the loose, and potentially now in the market for a source of cheap labour that will basically kill on command without having to be paid to do it, and uh, Becker... Let's just say I don't think that his promotion of his new urban enforcement droids is going to go the way that he's expecting it to. Find out if I'm right in the next episode. In the meantime, hope you've enjoyed this one. Hope you're all having a great weekend. And as always, take care and I'll catch you next time.